Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to our class of 2021 salutatorian, Miss Alana Lozana. <laughs> Welcome, parents, family members, supporters, school board members, and the class of 2021! Alana Lozana, and it is my honor to be standing in front of you as the salutatorian for the graduating Detroit School of Arts class of 2021. Before I begin, I'd like to express gratitude for those who have made our high school experience possible, specifically parents, our principal, Dr. Lisa Reynolds, our assistant principal, Ms. Nicole Burrell, our school counselor, Mr. Curtis Calhoun, our college transition advisor, Ms. Daniela Borum, and all Detroit School of Arts teachers and staff. In addition to these individuals, it is only fitting that I should thank all honorable Detroit Public School Board members, our superintendent, Dr. Nikolai Vitti, and most importantly, our founder, Dr. Denise Davis Cotton. To all of you that I have mentioned, your love and support has meant the world to all of us. And we thank you for all you have done in all four years of our high school experience. I'd also like to thank the English teachers I've had over the course of four years. Mrs. Willow Riopel. <laughs> Mr. William McLean. Ms. Renee Haas, and Mr. Jonathan D'Alessandro. They truly recognized my abilities as an academic student and never limited me in, in my achievements or setting goals, nor have they ever let me take the easy way out. They've inspired me to keep going, even when it was difficult, and kept me disciplined at all times. I'd also like to thank my dance teachers, Mrs. Shannon Palmer, Mr. Demetrius Shields, and our assistant principal and former dance teacher, Ms. Nicole Burrell. These teachers have guided me in the performance world and taught me what it means to be a respectable performer. They've always, always, always encouraged me to keep my grades up at all times. Most importantly though, I'd like to thank my father. I'd like to thank my father for the long drives he took to get me to school every morning the constant support in my education, loving me, and emotionally supporting me along the way. Beautiful. September, <laughs> September 5th, 2017. That was the day we began our journey together. A new book, a new chapter. When I began my journey here at DSA, I had no idea what to expect. It was scary. I wasn't entirely used to dancing with other people other than the ones I'd grown accustomed to in elementary and middle school. Then I met Nevea <laughs> and Yasmin, who were, more, who were more than willing to help me with anything I didn't understand in my dance classes and included me in their pieces of choreography, even if it was just for fun. Although as an introvert, I didn't surround myself with loads of people in high school, the few that I was around, such as these two, began my experience of a DSA family. And later, Maya and DeAndre became a part of that. We were introduced to what it means to be a DSA achiever. Over the past four years, we have heard the saying from our beautiful founder, the first performance is in the classroom. No doubt, students, all of us have done that. 
all of us here ready to grab our diplomas are a testament to both our hard work in the classroom and performance-wise on the stage. We should all be proud to call ourselves DSA achievers. But what does it mean to achieve something? Well, as I'm sure, we've all set goals. And for all of us, the main goal was to graduate high school and finish out strong. And we've all done that. Some of us have to go to go to college or a trade school, and we're doing that in the fall, or for some, the summer. The point is to achieve something means you've set a goal and you work your hardest to achieve that goal, living out the dream you set out to live. This class is exactly what it means to be a DSA achiever. We set goals inside the classroom and outside the classroom because that's what we're destined to do, be great. I stand here as the class salutatorian letting you know that this was not easy. It was a long road to get here. The late nights, the doubts, the frustration of many assignments, especially virtually, the having to think up choreography to set on others, but I made it. After high school, I'd like to attend a culinary school because that's something I really enjoy doing and that's cooking. I hope that each of you stand, sitting here today are going off to pursue the hobbies and careers that make you happy. Never let someone tell you you can't do something or block you from achieving your goals. If you like it, stick to it. As you do these things, continue to consider what our beautiful founder said. Live unapologetically and achieve unquestionably. Students, there is no limits as to what you can do. On behalf of the class of 2021, we want to once again thank all those that were mentioned. We'll never forget all you have done in all four years of our high school experience. Before I close, I'd like to leave a quote to the classes that follow that our principal, Dr. Reynolds, shared with me by Mary McLeod Bethune. This quote reads, I leave you to love. I leave you to hope. I leave you the challenge of developing confidence in one another. I leave you a thirst for education. I leave you a respect for the use of power. I leave your faith. I leave you racial dignity. I leave you a desire to live harmoniously with your fellow men. My fellow achievers, continue to achieve your goals and persist even in the state of hardship. This too will be you one day. And to my fellow classmates of 2021, congratulations. Thank you.